Okay, let's look at functions. So we have two, uh, two example problems here. One, quite a bit easier, um, but still could throw at you possibly. And the second one, uh, harder and you need to know how to go about solving it. Okay, so function, y equals, this is really just plugging in, 2x minus 5, given that x is negative 3. Okay, so this is a function question, right? Um, and all we're doing is, like we said, plug in, right? So we're solving for y. y equals 2x, so plug in negative 3 here, minus 5. y equals 2 times negative 3, negative 6, minus 5. Negative 6 minus 5 is negative 11. Okay, so that would be the first one. Um, fairly straightforward algebra. If you're comfortable with that. Okay. The second one is harder. Okay, so the main would be like all possible values of x. That's what they're asking you. Okay. So you have something like this. x divided by x squared plus 6x plus 9, okay. Right, and the, the denominator in something like this can't equal zero, right? Um, once the denominator goes zero, equals zero, then we don't have a real, real problem here. So what we need to do is be able to factor this. Right, and so that's in the quadratic uh, equations video. We go over this with a bunch of examples, but we're gonna do it again right here. All right, so you're setting x squared plus 6x plus 9 equal to zero, right? And then the answer that we get here is what x cannot equal. So we'll make more sense here in a second as we solve this, right? So, Get like two of those going, equal zero. This is how we do quadratics, right? We have an x here, and an x here. And our question is, which two numbers that we'll put here are a product of nine, meaning they multiply to nine and add up to six? Okay, so this is that an easier one, honestly, in that the only numbers that you can have multiplied to 9 are 1 and 9 or 3 and 3. Okay, so 1 plus 9 is 10. We need it to equal 6. But 3 times 3, which equals 9, but 3 plus 3 is 6. So that works. Yeah? And then we have 3. So to make sure we set that up right, we have x times x is x squared, x times 3 is 3x, three 3 times x, also 3x, three, 3 times 3 is 9, okay, so there's our formula, and then we have x squared plus 3x plus 3x is 6x plus mistake. Plus 9 equals 0. Okay, so we set it up. Right. So the question is, what? No, so in this parentheses, how do we get this to equal 0? Right? We have x plus 3 times x plus 3 equals 0. Right? x equals negative 3, then negative 3 plus 3 would be 0, and then whatever was over here wouldn't matter. The answer would equal 0. Same's true over here. Right? And so basically what we have here is x equals negative 3. Okay, so from a domain standpoint, what that means going back up to here is if x equals negative 3, and we go and solve this, then we'll get 0 for our answer. Do you want to see that? Sometimes when you haven't done a lot of domain stuff, that can sound confusing. Okay, so we did all this work. Find that x equals negative 3. Okay, so 
we're saying x equals negative 3, right? So negative 3 squared plus 6 times negative 3 plus 9. Okay, so what do we have here? 9 plus 6 and negative 3 is negative 18 plus 9. Okay, 9 plus negative 18 is negative 9 plus 9. That equals 0. Okay, so when x is negative 3, the denominator ends up being 0. We can't have that, right? So, but any other number works. And so the answer <laughs> to all this, pretty long-winded way of explaining it, but the only way to get comfortable with it is that the domain is all numbers except for negative 3. Any other number gives us a good answer.